channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this crown braid. So if you want to see how to do it, then just keep on watching. Alright, the first thing we'll be doing is using the Orbe Dry Texturizing Hairspray and putting this into the roots all the way to the ends of only the hair that I'm going to be braiding. And the reason I'm doing this is because it is going to add more texture to the hair and make it easier to style and it'll actually hold the braid better in place throughout the day. Okay, we're ready for the fun part now. Take a one and a half inch section of hair from the hairline and split this into three equal parts. This will be the beginning strands of our braid. Now bring the front piece underneath the middle and the back piece under the middle. From here, you're gonna need to start angling the braid to the side because we don't wanna be braiding all the way down to the ear. So just kinda of reposition your fingers so you're all good and you're all set up and again, Bring the front under the middle, add some hair this time. Bring the back piece under the middle and repeat. Front under the middle, grab some hair, add it to the middle, and then back piece under the middle. Again, front piece under the middle. Add some hair and back piece under the middle. I think you guys got it by now, right? And I'm also picking up hair so that there's a nice straight line going back between you know the braid and the rest of my hair. But I'm basically just picking up the hair that's coming from the top of my head and just repeating the same thing over and over again. So I'm adding hair to the middle piece, back under the middle, front under the middle, and add more hair to the middle piece. And just keep repeating this all the way till you get to the back of the head. I'm just gonna be finishing this off with a regular braid all the way down to the ends of my hair. Secure the ends with an elastic. I'm using a small clear one here just because my hair is lighter. But if you have darker hair, they also sell ones that are black so that it'll match in with your hair better and you won't be able to see it. So then to flatten the hair or the braid down onto the head, you just wanna kinda position it where you like it so that you can't see you know, a gap between the braid and the rest of your hair. And take a bobby pin and secure it into the braid, but also kinda hook it on the hair behind the braid so that it stays in place and so that you cannot see the bobby pin. adjust the braid if you want it to be bigger, which I do, I do like a more fuller looking braid. So all you have to do to do that is take one hand and hold the braid steady, and with your other hand, just very lightly tug in an outward direction, and that will just automatically pull the braid out and make it look more volumized. But this is completely optional. I just like my braid to be bigger, and I have thinner hair, so this really helps to give my braid more dimension. And just to get rid of any flyaways and to set the braid in place, I'm just lightly spraying with some more hairspray and patting it down. So that's it for the tutorial. If any of you guys decide to try this out, you guys know I love seeing all your pictures and stuff. Let me know how it goes down in the comments below. You can send me a tweet or talk to me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, whatever it is. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.